Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case of the Freak Mix Basketball Mixer. You can see Nick opening up the case right now behind me. This is random box break number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. What case number? This is 164 out of 260 or 50, whatever that is. Anyhow, I think what we've done this a few times before, so I think you, are, if you're in this, you're familiar with it. Um, there will be one Giannis photograph or autograph jersey. They're usually photos. I think the special one would be the would be the jersey. Then there are 12 2013-14 NBA boxes in there, all Giannis rookie years, right? Which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do, we, we sold 13 spots. One person is going to get the Giannis item, the live item that's in here. And then the 12 of you are going to get a random box. If there are more than 12 boxes, chances are we'll combo duplicate box together or combo them at our discretion if it's kind of obvious that there's a better combo. But generally, it'll probably be uh, duplicate boxes will be combo together. Usually, there aren't duplicate boxes in there. All right, so there you go. Obviously... Giannis rookie year, right? You find one of those and get him graded. It's going to be pretty awesome. Big thanks to those people right here. And here's the list right here. So like I said, one person is going to get the Giannis uh, photo. And then the rest of you will be randomized a box. So what Nick's going to do is he's going to open up this case, bring a box out. There's a lot of peanuts in there. Got to watch out. Right? I mean, it could be an immaculate box. could be a flawless box. So there's the Giannis item. Usually it's an 8x10. We'll save that for somebody. First box, Panini Crusade. All right, so first box. Now I'm not going to write down the years here because it's all 12, 13. So 13, 14. 13, 14, that is. Panini. Is it all Panini? Yep. There might be an upper deck box, but I highly doubt it. Panini Crusade. <coughs> all right. Next box is a Panini Elite basketball box. Panini Elite. Next box is a Panini Elite basketball box. So Panini Elite number two. Actually, hold on. Which one was the first one you pulled out? The one in the back. So we'll put one right here for Elite box one. And two right here for Elite box Next two. Box, Panini Pinnacle. Pinnacle. So... It's an entail. Pinnacle, all right. Next box, Panini Timeless Treasures. Timeless Treasures. Next box, Timeless Treasures. So you want to put number so one So Timeless there. Treasures. So Timeless Treasures hold one. Can just hold it like to me to the box. Timeless Treasures here. Number two. Do this all day. <laughs> Next box, Panini Prestige. Prestige. Next box, Panini Prestige. So. <laughs> so that's Good Prestige power. 1. That's Prestige 2. Next box. So this is hoops. Hoops one should be only two more, yeah. NT immaculate. Which one do I do first? Panini. Panini. So there's hoops one and two. It's just panini. Oh, it's just panini basketball. We have multiples in here. We have a lot more to go. Do we really? Yeah. Next one is titanium. Let's type them in and then we'll combo them after. Yeah, titanium. We got two titaniums. All right, so that's titanium one. Not to be confused with some other brand's name, titanium. This is a basketball training card box. Got another panini box. Wow. It's like a, it's like a so titanium bag. Like <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously, that'll be the that'll it. be the books then. That's it. Titanium one and two, and then another basketball. Want to show them? Yeah. 
chubby dumplings. This is how we dump the peanuts here. I was like, oh, there's that magnum box. <laughs> So there'll be two right there. That's his daughter's number. And then I've marked this one, number one, right there. Let's combo paninis, the panini basketball. Okay, hold on. Let's put this back on camera. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So if we combo basketballs, there's one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Sorry, there was fourteen. And let's combo the hoops. Eight by ten is. It was an eight by ten. Eight by ten. All right. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I mean, it'll be sold the thirteen spots, right there. All right. So there's these guys right here. Good luck. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One and a six, seven times for each list. Lucky seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I said one, right? Seventh and final time. Seventh and final time. There you go. GT. Down to David. All right. Seven times. For the item in the box is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And seventh and final time. Good luck. After seven, we got Prestige. Two, box two, down to Panini Pinnacle. All right, so GT with Prestige Box number two, Stephen Cohen with Timeless Treasures one, Bruno, Titanium two, Chris Berry, you get the Giannis autographed jersey or photo. In this case, it's a photo. We'll do yours last. Bruno with the Crusade box, Daniel Litt, Last Spot Mojo, Timeless Treasures box number two, Jesse with Titanium one, Andrew, Prestige one, Jeffrey, Elite two, Seth with the uh, hoops, or sorry, the Panini Basketball box one and two, Hans with the hoops boxes one and two, Matthew with Elite one, the first Elite box, and then David with Pinnacle. Let's order these by your first names, by column A. And let's print out these labels. Prestige one up first. Uh, yes, Andrew. Andrew's prestige one up first. Top right corner. Should I print out these labels? I guess. No, I don't think I will. I think I'll do it this way. All right, because each of those names will be in your own container, so everyone knows. What goes where? Make sure that make sure Effie the shipping sheep doesn't handle those. Should have been a goat so you can tell him scapegoat. Scapegoat. I mean maybe there he is. So there you go. Andrew Prestige 1 is going to be coming at you. You can see Prestige 2 is right there. That's going to be coming up later for GT. This is the one with the Onyx. 
I mean, really, that's all we're that's all we're looking for here. Giannis, Giannis, Giannis. Any other worthy Oladipo. rookies? Oh, Oladipo. Okay, let's keep an eye for him. I guess it'll be kind of obvious right there. And obviously, all cards will ship it's like a personal box. We got Paul Pierce. All right, I'm opening Bruno's here. Really? So let's show this on camera really quick. So Bruno, Titanium 2, and Crusade is going to be opened up on the Crusade top. Crusade and then Titanium Dose. There you go. Paul Pierce, Celtics jersey, Nets. I mean, we're looking for even just a regular rookie card of Giannis could be huge. Especially if you get it graded. Because it's on Spectrum. 692? 691. I think it's 692. Got it. You can also look at all the blasts from the past, all the players that never really made it. See, see Blake, I think, uh, coach on the assistant coach on the Suns now. Saw him on the bench during the Suns game, Lakers Suns game, a little while ago. There's Antoine Walker, Mavs edition. KCP. Kobe. And Oladipo would be a magic in this, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I gotta look out for Orlando Magic logos and Oladipos. Who's next? Uh, Chris Berry, uh, no, sorry, Daniel Lint, Treasures 2. That's Peyton Siva. Okay, I actually didn't bother opening that one because it's one pack. David S. Uh, David C.'s Pinnacle. All right, Daniel Lent, box two. I'm just going to open up the box. It's the easiest part to pack stack. All right, so that's Daniel Lent's paperwork right here. This is David's. Where's Bruno's? This is Bruno's? Yep. He's on deck. Bruno, you're on deck. Once we get some of these bigger boxes out of the way, we'll have a little more real estate to work with. Come on. Oh, there he is. So what could this go for, this Nick Jaspi? Graded. What if we grade try. this? I mean, how much is this a spot? A couple hundred bucks a spot? Yeah. I mean, if this grades out nicely, rookie card? I don't know. Can't, yeah. 10 or something yeah, I you know? can't see why that can't cover a good chunk of the spot. Obviously, if we find an autograph of his, that'll be huge, too. Nice. There you go, Hawkeye. At this point, a lot of this stuff probably would be worth, you know, worth getting graded. There might be a lot of these out there by now, so that's where the grading really comes in handy. There's Grant Hill showing his true colors. All right, there you go. That was your prestige box. Prestige box number one.
All right, so Bruno, you were up next. Next, I'm doing G. Prestige box two. Yeah, and Daniel Lint is after. All right, so uh, Andrew's saying he's going to grade and hold. Nice. Wait till he gets into the Hall of Fame. All right, so Bruno, there is your Titanium 2 and your Crusade. Here's Titanium right here. Again, we're really just looking for, there's Grant Hill Elements. Looking for Giannis Rookies. There's Daniel Orton Autograph. You can see Jim McCollum in this Ooh. I can see Jim McCollum. There's Greg Monroe autograph. Pistons. Also, Matthew Delvedova. St. Mary's alum. He's not a rookie in this, is he? Yeah, he is. I thought it was like the year after. No, 1314. Got a 49 conductors. Tim Duncan. Kevin Durant. There's a lot of relics here. Wow, AJ saying a PSA 10 of that Giannis that we pulled for Hawkeye goes for like 150 ish. A BGS 10 goes for 470 ish. Definitely worth grading. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so that's Titanium. And here is Crusade. Keel O'Neal, that's number 249. This has that extra prison baseball powder on it. Yeah, it does. I was over there. <laughs> <laughs> the memories. That was a lot, though. Yeah. Old 2015 prison that baseball had to be or something very like that? Bad for my, my yeah, that was, that was not good. It was just terrible. I could have sued them. You probably could have. I think. Maybe, yeah, when, maybe when you die like 60 years later and they yeah, find all that in your lungs, yeah, yeah, your family yeah, can just sue. Yeah. Roy Hibbert to 249. Yeah. Derek Williams to 25. John Starks to 349. That's Nate Wollers. Kelly Olenek die cut. Enos Cantor, Danny Green. So no Giannis is in here, but you'll get all those hits going your way. All right, Hans has both boxes of hoops. Let me print out Hans' stuff here. Let me move the photo here. We're going to move the boxes here. All right, here's Hans Hoops 1 and 2. So and, Lynch, Daniel Lynch, and on deck yeah. is Jesse's titanium. Okay. All right, so Bruno, those are your two boxes. Thanks for getting in. I wish every box had a Giannis rookie in here. Got but... 500 cards a box. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Now, after this, ladies and gentlemen, nothing is sold out after this. Um, we'll have plenty of time. We'll probably have a couple hours left in the show, maybe more, to knock out some more Donruss Optic, which is actually not a bad break to do solo, so we, I'm, I'm more than happy to do another case or two of that, because especially since we, since we don't have too many. All right, so Daniel, you're up next. All right, you've got Last Bot Mojo and Timeless Treasures 2. And just for reference, you can see Timeless Treasures 1 is still out there, so we didn't mix those up. All right. Tobias Harris to 299. We got Perennial Materials, Duran Williams. We've got Tony Mitchell, Jersey and Autograph. And Bruce Bowen and some Knicks right there. So no Giannis here. <coughs> Time.
timeless teams here in timeless treasures. All right, after Daniel is David's pinnacle, which is right here. That's GT. There's your pinnacle right there, David. Good luck. Thanks for getting in. Brandon Knight's going to screw me up in this break. I'll see the... That's not going to screw me up. There you go. Look how young he looks there. I think people forget how skinny he was when he came into the league. He's bulked up a lot. I think that's just something to think about when you see some of these know, like 19-year-old kids out there. I see me go to Jokic out there. I think I could be in the NBA. <laughs> you guys have similar body type? Yeah. I'm not as tall. I kind of, he, and people worry about like Zion's yeah. athleticism, right? But it's just like, if I see Jokic just balling out, he's got a little extra baby fat around him. I'll be like, it's fine. Zion's going to be fine. Who says he's guaranteed to play better if he like loses that? Maybe he's yeah. comfortable with that weight. Yeah. Yeah, that's He can bully people like, around at that weight. Yeah. It's like, do I listen to all the draft experts calling Zion the best prospect since LeBron? Or do like people on Twitter calling him too fat? Yeah. I don't know. Who's been, who, who knows their stuff? Yeah. I mean, Jokic can hit threes, too. That's a thing. I saw a PSA 10 silver hit go for almost $600. Yeah, Jokic is strong. I could see Jokic, like, maybe 10 years after retirement, just, like, just bawling in YMCA leagues. <laughs> no one knows who he is. He's... He's like, oh, he's just a lumbering white guy, I guess. I mean, I guess a seven-footer would give it away. You can pull him in uh, our NBA All-Star mix and break on Sunday. That would be nice. Include a box of 2003, 2004, the authentic basketball draft. That would be nice. You can pull a LeBron card that recently I've sold. Heard, I've heard of him. $30,000. guy's pretty good. What? A PSA 10. That's wild. be one of our biggest hits ever. Not to mention Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, Chris Bosh, and then all the other rookies in that. I've heard of all these guys. There's uh, Zion Hunting, there's John Morant, Nikola Jokic, Luka We should Donchich, do... <coughs> we do have those blasters, because nothing sold out after this break, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna, we still have a little ways to go, but if you want to look ahead to what we can accomplish tonight, maybe that uh, those uh, prison blaster breaks... Because you got a chance to win spots in that big 36 box basketball mixer that Nick's talking about. There's Michael Carter Williams, Sixers edition. And it's not like it's a good product, Prism, you know? Pretty good. It's not like a, you know, an 8x10 or something. Not like that. It's actually a strong break in and of itself. And you can win two. Sorry, so there's actually, there's two spots, right? Yeah, two spots. That one break, you can win two spots. And I mean, you can win if both. You not, if you don't win a spot, you might get a Zion Silver that we've had before from last year. Not too bad. And then buy yourself a mixer spot straight up, and then still have profit. You need someone else? Yeah. You got Jesse? Yeah, and then I need after Jesse. That's an easy break, titanium. Okay, Jesse, titanium one. All right. 
Oh, did I pass an Ola Depot? I keep looking for I keep looking for a Pacers edition. Ten out of twenty five, Ricky Leto Leto. Upstarts rally. Oh, it was early? Or it might be on the very bottom there. Then you just put your stack on. Yeah. The stack. So focused on Giannis, forgetting about the other guys. Kobe. Good eye, AJ. Yeah, he look he does look very young. I mean that's the thing. I think people have to realize that especially especially when they'll be able to draft like college players or a high school players in a couple of years. You gotta give these players like a few years for their bodies to just grow into the to just grow. And just develop in, in the league. That's not the one you saw? <laughs> no, no. I'll find it then. Okay, this is the stack that I was working with earlier. All right, well, David, there's yours. You're, get, you're gonna get all the cards, so whatever I missed, you'll get. I look through these. Nick will see if you can spot it right now. That one? This is the regular. All right, David C., thank you, and thanks to AJ for the sharp eye. So after David was GT with Prestige 2. is over here. playing some good basketball for the Lakers. He's been pretty strong. Yeah, Seiko Demboya does have a lot of room for, yeah, guys like him, a lot of room for growth. Just both, you know, not only mentally, a lot, a lot of things to learn in the game, just physically. Matthew Cantrell. There's Rajon Rondo. Had a great game the other night for the Lakers. I also like that Seiko Demboya. There's bonus shots. Rolando Blackman. He's got a little more, a little more time to play now that Drummond is not there. So maybe he'll get some more minutes and show what he can do in the league. Oh, 
Giannis's? I don't see any. There's one. Nice. There you go, GT. Worth getting graded. If it grades out nicely. There's Chris Paul relic. Could easily cover the spot of this break and then some. There's Alan Crabb. After GT was Hans. Hoops one and two. Right there. I see. So, Matthew, I'm moving your elite box over a little bit. Jesse, I'm moving your titanium box over a little bit. And all of these right here will be Hans's hoop boxes. It's just grab and go. This was commercial. Was this one? Was this on Super Bowl? Uh, I think so. It was like. Oh, the Indeed commercial. Like I feel like there was a lot of Super Bowl commercials, like intentionally trying to like tug at my heartstrings. Yeah, there was some wolf ones. Yeah. Yeah, that Google one. Yeah, I mean, like, oh, all right, all right, I see. That must be the new thing this year. Yeah, it's all trying, the marketing trying to make. Like, yeah, there's at the marketing conference there was just like people want sad stuff this year. Yeah. Comedy is out. Even Budweiser was all like serious. No Kleinsdale commercial. That was a bummer. Yeah. No, I didn't see any. I didn't, didn't see anything with horses. That was fun. Not well. What happened to Anthony Bennett? LeBron got rid of him and he just never recovered. Romos, what's going on? Mm. Yeah, someone did say that someone popped in the morning. They said they were all the way here from Australia. And you and you missed me and Nick. I apologize. Well, we'll have to go there, I guess. We'll go, we'll go find you.
Oh, you're in Solvang now. It's like being in... Denmark. In, yeah, Denmark, yeah. A lot of windmills there. A lot of different stuff. There's a great... I think on the way to Solvang, there's a great uh, tri-tip place hidden away in the mountains there. Cold Spring Tavern, I think, something like that. It's underneath that massive bridge. here for Hans. Hans had Hoops Box 1 and 2. Ooh, Monterey tomorrow? There's a good, uh, gotta go to the aquarium. Go, go look for some, uh, look at the otters. I think the Monterey Bay Aquarium is one of those overrated aquariums. Wow! You've never had this fight? Uh, yes, because you said the Baltimore one was yeah. better. Yeah, I've never been to the Baltimore one, but people say that one's pretty good. Baltimore's sick. I mean, I kind of want the National to be in Baltimore so we can go to that aquarium. I'm more of a zoo guy, though. More of a zoo guy? What about yeah, the San wild, Diego Zoo's awesome. wild animal park strong, too? Yeah, that's awesome. I, I want to go to Africa and on a safari trip. I'm down. Should we break that's from there? My, that's my... Do they have um, like LTE and stuff and in the safari parks? Sure. Or they don't have safari parks. It's just... It's nature. just there. It's just it's nature. Just yeah, it's just out there. <laughs> There's no, like, gate? No, there's no gate. There's, the lions are just there. They're not in cages or no, anything? No, no, no. They just roam around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of scary. Yeah, they're just there. All right, last one is uh, Steven. He's going to open the pack. All right, so we got one Giannis and a couple uh, Oladipos in here for you, Hans. What's the Nintendo Switch like? Uh, you can't detach the controllers. Oh, I should have bought that one. And the screen's a little smaller. I never detached the controller. I did it once. It was pretty cool. Yeah, we like did with, it here, the, with the TV. We did do it here. That's right. Although we were, we were in a... We weren't really watching, yeah, watching the TV. But, um... But the, the screen's smaller. I think that's what I don't like about it. I saw it at the Dallas airport. They had this huge line of huge TVs and chairs, and uh -huh. you can play video games in them. You just pay per hour. What? Like Fortnite, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch. That's pretty smart. Great idea. Like, we had a long layover. I was about to do it. Man. It's just a genius idea. I wish LAX was like that. Yeah, this Dallas airport compared it's to LAX Ishmael. was just like first world versus third. <laughs> I'm just going to go to Dallas. Just to go to the airport. Just to go to the airport. I like airports too. Yeah, I do, I do too. I don't mind getting there a couple hours early and then no, just like goofing them. around. Yeah. They got the charging blocks. Oh, ah, yeah, there. got charging blocks. They got so much stuff. And like, you can't, no one can make you do work because you're like, sorry, I'm at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You're just like, yeah. hey, can you go take care of No, I can't. I'm at the airport. They're like, oh, oh, oh. And no one ever is like, oh, okay. Yeah. Everyone's just like, cool, 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 cool. Sorry to bother you. Yeah. <laughs> I love the airport. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of the airports. Another Giannis, by the way, uh, with the bronze border. Get those graded, Hans. I'm an airport reviewer. Wow. Um, Dallas one is very high up. The Delta. The uh, did you did you see the Peyton Manning did a an episode there of Peyton's places at the Dallas airport, and there was he was in front of like a statue of somebody. I've also been to the Denver airport, which is reportedly haunted. Been there. I've been to the Denver airport. Denver is scary to go into because of... You ever hear it's reportedly haunted? I've not heard that the, it's haunted. You never heard that? No. It's a huge thing. Well, there's a lot of wind there from the Rockies, so there's a lot of turbulence when you go into Denver, like which is, I don't know, it's a little little scary. I'm a turbulence guy. You're a turbulence guy? Yeah. You're Lance Thomas. But now everyone else is uncomfortable, I'm comfortable. Some people like to hang glide for their thrills. Bungie jump. Nick Jaspi's like, I like turbulence on an airplane. All right. 
Everyone has their thing. Yeah, Denver Airport haunted. There's haunted? a lot of conspiracy theories about it. By, by, by what or whom? I don't know. We gotta look it up. Seth, is Denver haunted? The airport, not... The, is the airport haunted? Maybe maybe the, the ghosts of old silver miners who died in maybe a mining accident are haunting that airport forever? Denver Airport Conspiracy. How the Denver Airport became an icon of the Illuminati. Whoa! You like Whoa. That yeah, that, that grabs me. Ever since the Denver Airport opened in 1995, uh -huh. it's been uh, one of the most salacious airport-themed conspiracies. Salacious? Theories. Wow. So what? Because they have apocalyptic murals, um, the involvement of the Freemasons. Whoa. I've heard of those guys. I saw... Truthers. I saw... Uh, There's just a lot of stuff going on with it. I saw that movie with Tom Hanks. I know all about it. National Treasure? No, that, that's with <laughs> that's with uh, Nick Cage. Oh, which Tom, Tom which Hanks was in. Uh, oh, Tom Hanks. Yeah. Oh, um, the airport movie. No, not the airport movie. Terminal. No, 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 no. Like that movie. Where he's a professor and he's going around and and, and treasure hunting. I've never hunting. seen that. I, I like know, Terminal. I know, I'm that's blank. Yeah, yeah, Da Vinci Code. There you go. Oh, I heard that was terrible, wasn't it? It's alright. I mean, it's alright. The book's a lot better. But then there's like the second one was no good. I think that's the one your brother was in. He's in a movie? <laughs> Where they did like a helicopter shot of of like like Italy or something like that, but he was like an extra. Uh, I, didn't know I think that, that was your brother. I'm in an Academy Award winning movie. What movie are you in? Um, it's a Woody Allen film. Oh, I've heard this story. Yeah. Um, was it Was it the tennis one? No. It's the one with, um... Oh, maybe you're in a street? Midnight in Paris, man. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I yeah. like that one. Midnight in Paris is pretty good. It's Chris Middleton for the Bucks. Yeah, it's with the, the guy from Drillbit Taylor. Owen Wilson. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, he was, he was also the voice of a race car. He's also, uh... Wait, is that Knight Owen Wilson, Wilson or is that Luke Wilson? Owen Wilson is the voice of Lightning McQueen. Yeah, Lightning McQueen. Yeah, that's I, where I, that's where I know him from. I like it. I like the Night at the Museum series. I also like um, the what about the car National series. Tre the National Treasure. National Treasure series is pretty good. They're also rebooting that, so I'm very excited. Wait, they're, they're rebooting? Making, they're making a new one. Why? Because they're making a new one. Oh, they're making a new one, but not rebooting it. Different they're actors. No, same actors. Oh. The fourth one, I think. Oh, so good. That's cool. I'm excited for that. That's been in like development hell. Like yeah. people were saying, oh, it could happen, it could not. Yeah. So that'll be very exciting. Is everyone all about? Everyone's all about another national treasure movie, right? So it's like just exciting times for the jazz piece. Yeah. Another Yan a lot of Yannis's out of these hoops boxes, Hans. We got a handful of, we got a couple uh, Ola Depots in the mix too. All good things. There's another Giannis onto DeCampo. So, I mean, one of these has got to grade out. Got to grade out real well. There's a Mackey Okafor. First National Treasure came out in 2004. Really? It was that long ago? And they only made two. I thought there was a third, but that, the third one's coming out soon. Yeah, <coughs> the first one was the classic <coughs> Steal the Declaration of Independence. Mm -hmm. And then this, what was the second one? Maybe the second it was one was not good. Secrets. Oh, right, right, right. Is that it where they, great. They, they, op they went to the White House and opened up the leg of the desk, right? The, yeah. The Resolute Desk. But the first one is fine. First one's classic. The first one has terrible reviews, too. Really? Six on no, but I think I think it's gotten some, like, some, like, uh, cult classic sort Can of... Can I hear you watch Parasite, finally? Yes. Good movie? Wait, who told you that? I saw it on Facebook. Oh, okay. I was like, can I talk to you since I saw it? Uh, yeah, I thought it was incredible. I thought Parasite was pretty awesome. Yeah, I thought it was a good movie. There's uh, Ekpi Odu. 
And then I watched one of his other movies that's on Netflix. Didn't very like it. You didn't like Snowpiercer? No, I didn't like that. The one with the train? Similar yeah, concept. Like, uh, maybe it's a little too sci-fi. Have you ever seen the thing about Willy Wonka in that Maybe movie? it's a little too post-apocalyptic, kind of weird for you. It's a little bit. Well, it's like very political. Have you seen the Willy yeah, Wonka it is. theory? No. I had to send you that. It's basically a sequel to Willy Wonka. Snowpiercer is? Yeah, it's dark. Like, and this video has 10 million hits. And they're making a Snowpiercer TV series too. Mm, maybe they should not. They don't On have to FX do that. with Jennifer Connelly, famed actress from something. I don't know. Uh, Top Gun Two. No. Beautiful Top Mind. Gun. Wait, there's a Top Gun Two. Yeah. Coming out. Yeah. And yeah, she's in it. Is she she, in she's one? the female she lead. One. She's the female lead. I'm not a Top uh, Gun One fan. So I don't, I don't um, I she was like not in one. Miles Teller from Whiplash. I think he's an Eagles fan. So. So automatically, yeah. Jesse, Titanium One coming up next. I am Titanium. Uh, Alex, you guys remember that song? Jody Meeks, remember Jody Meeks? To two ninety nine. Remember LeBron James? Shaquille O'Neal to twenty two. Kent Bazemore autograph. Fundamentals, Iguodala, and Kyrie Irving autograph. Nice. Reserve signatures to 49. It's not bad at all. Right on the card as well. He's got a nice auto. On card is strong as well. All right. So no Giannis, but some nice stuff. Kevin Jeffrey, you're up next. You have Elite 2. So there's Kevin and Matthew. Here's Elite 1. Yeah, that's Elite 1. Kevin, this one's yours. And we're going in alphabetical order, so you're up first. There you go. Good luck. It's Kelly Olenek. To uh, nine ninety nine. It's Andre Iguodala autograph. That's pretty cool. It looks like the back of the card. On the front is Chris Mullen, dual autograph. Is that all your base or belong to us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. All your base. All your base. All your base. Or belong to us. All your base. All your base. Or belong to us. Vince Carter. Actually, we take all of our veteran commons and we end up donating them to good causes. They do not belong to us. There's Ryan Kelly, 8 out of 25, Rookie Essentials. Nice patch, nice autograph. I think a, maybe Duke fans, I think he's a Duke player, right? I think Duke fans might enjoy that. They might still collect Ryan Kelly. Jalen Rose, Bulls edition, throwback threads, Iguodala, die cut. No Giannis or Oladipo in this one, Kevin. Still got a little bit of a stack to go, though. Come on. Come on to a morning. 
Vince Carter, Iman Shumpert, and Bradley Beal. All right, so no dice there. All right, yeah, Seth, I'm going to have plenty of blank cards here to goof around with. Matthew, you're up next. Seth, we're almost to you. So we got Matthew's Elite Box. Seth has two Panini Basketball Boxes right here. And then we're going to close out with Stephen Cohen's Timeless Treasure. Then we'll see what's inside Chris Berry's uh, photo there, Giannis' photo. We'll see what picture that is. All right, Matthew, good luck. Um, nothing's breaking next at the moment. Nothing's sold out. I only see... Maybe one, two, three, four, five, only six orders. So unless those six people sold out a break, I don't think anything's sold out yet. There's Mason Plumley to $9.99. Well, the Depot. Michael Beasley relic. Why does everyone have kazoos in this commercial? Josh Smith, die cut. And Victor Oladipo, autograph. Nice, rookie, jersey, and auto, Victor Oladipo. Oh, there's a Facebook group for everyone, apparently. 108 out of 149, jersey and autograph. Nice, Victor Oladipo. Maybe a Giannis card, maybe? There's Pelicans, Jeff Withy. Do not remember Jeff Withy. Jersey and autograph, Jerry West, 999. KCP, die cut to 99. We've got Dominators, Relic. And Jeff T get the end. The Oladipo RPA was pretty cool. And Oladipo is a great example of maybe sometimes, you know, maybe sometimes hold on to your rookie cards, especially in basketball, because you never know when the when a when a few years and a little change of scenery could could make a huge difference for some ball players.
All right. All right, um, Seth, we're almost there, folks. Seth, you're up next with Panini Basketball. We comboed those boxes together. You got both. Good luck. Breeze through these. It's Brandon Knight. Brandon Knight. That Bucks uniform is going to throw me off every time. Chucky Brown is your auto. Victor Oladipo, rookie. It's kind of harder to read the text on this one. Tim Hardaway Jr., rookie autograph. Rising Tide, rookie auto. A rookie Rudy Gobert is a rookie in this one. Nice. Let's save a Kobe. J. Mayo, Anthony Davis, Dica. There you go. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Looks pretty nice. Now I know what Giannis picked her to look for. I can go a little bit more quickly. All right, hasta mañana. All right, so big thanks to Nick for helping me open up these boxes. Probably shorten the break. It's already kind of a long break, but probably shorten it by like 30 minutes, believe it or not. Another Giannis. I mean, 
Grade both of them. Seth, grade both of them. Hope, hope that one of these turns out to be... Maybe one of these ends up being a 10. They look pretty good. Not, not too bad for rattling around in, in packs and boxes for for years, and then repacked into another box and then sent all the way out here. They look all right. Save another Oladipo. Got an Anthony Bennett rated rookie autograph to 100. Might as well send send those Ola Depots in while you're out of the John Lucas the third, Utah Jazz. Every time I turn these cards right side up and the other way around, I always flip around the other way. Bullock at the end. There you go, Seth. Not too shabby. All right. Last but certainly not least, Stephen Cohen, Timeless Treasures. You're welcome, Seth. Thanks for getting in. Al Jefferson to 299. Michael Kidd Gilchrist, promising prose relic. Wasn't he just released recently? I thought that his career would work out a little differently. We got Timeless Talents Grant Hill, 42 out of 49. Clippers edition. There was a little bit of a ding in that left bottom left, but. There you go, a nice Grant Hill autograph. And we've got some timeless teams right here. That's a pretty timeless team. All right, the redemption is going to be Cedric Maxwell, timeless signature. Now, now I know it's, it's expired, but Panini usually does a pretty good job of honoring this or getting you something else in return, Stephen Cohen. But thanks for trying to hunt Giannis's with us. All right, and the last thing, of course, is this for Chris Berry. Chris, thanks for waiting until the very end. Let's see what's in here. Does it have a little notch here? No, it doesn't. Obviously, it's a Giannis, but let's see what kind of picture it is. Hopefully a cool shot. It's 
would be, wait for it. Yes, we know, Giannis. Got his own hologram right there. Steiner Sports Memorabilia right here. And it's an 8x10. That's a good looking shot. Nice, going up for the dunk. And you got that gold ink autograph right there. That looks pretty sharp. There you go, nice. And that's for Chris Berry, who got the live Giannis autograph item. And there you have it, folks. Freak Mix Random Box Break number four in the books. Thanks for getting into the action. Thanks for hunting and chasing Giannis is with us. This is Joe, and I'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.